A fast WordPress site has a ton of benefits. The user experience is improved, you'll get more page views, and more conversions on your important pages. I'm Jamarco, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 7 factors that could be affecting your WordPress page speed. Number 1 is select a good hosting service. One of the fundamental steps in ensuring your WordPress site stays fast is to choose a quality hosting provider. For most sites, a shared hosting service from a trusted provider like Kingsta, SiteGround, WP Engine, or InMotion Hosting will be enough. But if your site speed is being held back by your hosting, you can choose to self-host, giving you total control. But investing in a dedicated server can be a bit overkill, especially if you run a small business or a startup. In cases like these, choosing a virtual private server can be the best option. It's a comfortable middle ground, providing speed and ease of use at a reasonable cost. Number two is use content delivery networks, CDNs, for static assets. Content delivery networks are meant to speed up your website by hosting your assets in different locations across the world. This is primarily helpful in cases where users aren't located close to where servers are hosted. If your servers are located in the USA, your pages will load considerably faster for your clients in the US compared to let's say your clients in India. A CDN will make your site load fast for every visitor no matter where they're located. Number three, avoid hosting videos on your server. You can directly upload videos to your WordPress site and your video will render in an HTML5 player, but you should never do that. When you host videos on your server, your hosting provider might charge you for bandwidth. Instead, you can use a hosting service such as YouTube, Vimeo, or Dailymotion. You can then embed that video on your website or in your content and you can rely on their platform to serve your content. Number four, decrease the number of server requests. Server requests refer to the number of requests submitted by your visitor's browser to your server. The higher the number of server requests made, the longer it will take for your request to be fulfilled. Therefore, server requests should be kept to a bare minimum. Now here are five practical ways to achieve this. You can decrease the number of posts per page, uninstall redundant plugins and remove plugins that are low performers, reduce the number of overall images on your pages. You can activate lazy loading. This will allow your page to load only the images that your visitor will see. Or you can get rid of plugins that your website no longer uses or needs. Let's hop into number five, which is enable caching. WordPress generally creates an HTML version of your website which is then served up to your browser. But what you can do is save a completed HTML copy of your site beforehand. Now instead of going through the process of creating an HTML version of your site at each request, visitors can immediately be presented with a saved copy of the website whenever a request is received. This is a process known as caching and there is a wide variety of plugins and tools for WordPress that can be used to do this. The most popular of the bunch are WP Super Cache and W3 Total Cache. Number six is optimize images and other media. Ensure the images on your website are optimized through image compression to ensure that they load for users in a quick and timely manner. Image compression enables you to reduce the size of an image without any noticeable decrease in quality. You can use something like smush image compression to compress your images automatically. Or you can run your images through a tool like TinyPNG before uploading them to your WordPress media gallery. Number seven is minify your files. After you have reduced the number of your files to a minimum, the next step is to ensure that the files that you are left with are as small in size as possible. This process is known as minification, and a couple tools that can help you with the task are gulp, grunt, and an option for the less tech savvy crowd is W3 Total Cache. Page speed is an important determining factor when it comes to the usability of your website. You want your website to be fast for your users, and if you follow these seven steps, your website is destined to perform well. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. As always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you next time.